Hello YouTubers, I hope you enjoyed my show today. Today is the new ban list. There's not much for ban to be honest, there's only been five cards which is in the Prestif. So the first ban card, the only ban card is Ryzen. Yep, this card was annoying to play against. It was always it was one of those cards once you out it, it was good. But also, if you didn't add it, it causes troubles. Yes. And it lets you build your deck a certain way to play against it. Yeah, and you have to play cards out to it already in your main deck to out it. Yeah. It. Which is... Causes the problems. But... It stops Graveyard. It forces banish because it's a walking out to Cosmos. Us. Okay? So that's what it causes. So now it's out the format and banned. Hopefully it won't come back again. It creates it, it now we got more freedom to play decks we can play. We can play more decks we wanna play. We can play graveyard central decks. We can play cards who who can not care about the great not care about the getting rid of one certain cards and stuff in the main deck. It means you spec your deck's got space for once, which is quite handy, yes. Which is quite cool. Yes. But also, it's not the only card in cash to worry about. No, Fenrir is still at three, so I think there's a chance for cash tier to be a going second deck and OTK in the opponent, and still be that oppressive. It's just about the Rysol, or you can still do the Rain Raptors and stuff. So there is that chance. There is that chance. Okay, next is the Bistio and. Chaos Space, yes. Ah, uh, Bestial, this one was suspected. Mankalov was suspected, yep. They come back to be at one, it's fine. You can blame the OSG for doing this, but I think at one it's fine. I think it was coming, you knew it, so I think you kind of knew what was going to happen, which is fine. It hurts Dragon Link a little bit, but not very much. Dragon Link was already playing 43 already, 44 still died. So we're already doing it already, so they don't need to change anything, they just need to take out those two cards and they'll be fine still, they'll still be fine. The deck was very consistent already, so that which is a good thing. Same with Gale Space, it's the same idea. Yes. They just done this because of worlds and then they're doing the events afterwards. They done it because well they won worlds, so they kinda had to do it, but they didn't want to hurt too much. That's because then would have hurt a lot, so yeah. I think it was okay. I think it's high. Well, we know with the next list, it's gonna be more of an onslaught, yep, and stuff. And then the last two cards were Hell of Orange Light. Now, this could be for number decks, this could be for Drytron, could be for. Tear. But tier has been, it's not the same as it used to be, so I think it could be for dry on decks and stuff, yep, because they kind of got more support, so I think I think that could be for that, for some other original decks and stuff, yeah, that was good, hurts and stuff, yep, which is handy, I, th I think this will change things a little bit, not so much, yep, much, yep. But it's all right. It's fine. It'll help out Drytron a lot, and maybe decks like Limber Masses might want a chance now. Yeah, because they don't have to worry about Rise Hall and stuff and all that. Yep, they couldn't play last format. Yep, and Salad one, two more Gazelles is excellent. Yep, it won't win you games, but it will help you consistently be a lot better. Yes, it'll be a lot better and a lot safer now. Yep. You had to run so many, and now you play your set deck slightly differently anyway. With the gazelle at three now, you can actually not take out so many stables and stuff. So I think this could be helpful. I think this could fix a lot of problems with, with salads in general. But still the same clauses and stuff, which is okay. Which which is fine, I guess. Yes. And now it's gonna be New Bell test match time. Yes, New Bell. Post Phantom Nightmare. 
Yes, it's in January, they said, so, yep. So we've got a little while for things to come for this deck, so hopefully we need to change that around. So you see he's doing all this with the with the crystal pieces like traps, yep. Make a level twelve. And then he's just left with one monster, yep. We give him a kaiju, he tries to special summon. Then he does that again. Yeah. And we scoop. Yep. <laughs> Not that impressive. This again, start with this year. This one's the opposite. So you do the new stuff. stuff. Ash. Zeus is uh Draws, he makes that. He sounds dark position. He draws one, summons dark position girl. He scars one. Yep. He summons Beatrice in his deck, which is quite cool. Makes a fusion. Can't roll no more. We destroy it, get new veil back, get another new veil, special summon, do 2000 damage, and then attack for game. Yep. <laughs> try to gain too much, this one of those decks, if you try to do too much against it, it sort of creates a, a loop. Yep. Well, it's really crazy if you just kill your opponent with the damage, because. The player takes the damage, yep. yep. We summon another new bell, fear of new bell, and then set a double trap, then pass turn. He comes back. Destroy it. Gets dinos. Yep. That's summon new bell. Spear of New Bell. We get we're setting out with spell. Dinosaurs. Ah, oh, Ash. 
And he's rushed some with another one. Then we summon you bell. So you can't be strong back. So she so ends up destroying. Summons a normal dinosaur. Summons us. The enemy won't be because of time! Yes! And this was Pendrum. So Pendrum, we just done the same. Yep. Fresh summon one from deck. Yeah. Try to clock his field. And we just brush some of that one. Yep. Oh, he can't just me, and then it's a uh, OGK, so. Yep. 